11th Sunday after Pentecost. Jesus cures the deaf and dumb. The 11th Lord's Day after Pentecost. The lesson is taken from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark, Chapter 7. In Ilio Tempore. At the time, Jesus, departing from the coasts of Tyre and Sidon, came unto the Sea of Galilee, through the midst of the coasts of Decapolis. And so on. Homily by Pope St. Gregory the Great. What signifieth it that when God, the Maker of all, would heal a deaf and dumb man, he put his fingers into his ears, and he spit, and touched his tongue? What is figured by the fingers of the Redeemer but the gifts of the Holy Ghost? Hence it is written in another place that after he had cast out an evil spirit, he said, If I with the finger of God cast out devils, no doubt the kingdom of God is come upon you which words are thus given by another evangelist, If I cast out devils by the Spirit of God, then the kingdom of God is come unto you. By setting these two passages together we see that the Spirit is called the finger. For our Lord, then, to put his fingers into the deaf man's ears was by the gift of the Holy Spirit to enlighten his dark mind unto obedience. What signifieth it also that he spit and touched his tongue? We receive spittle out of the Redeemer's mouth upon our tongues when we receive wisdom to speak God's truth. Spittle is a secretion of the head which floweth into the mouth. And so, that wisdom, which is himself, the great head of his church, as soon as it hath touched our tongue, doth straightway take the form of preaching. And looking up to heaven, he sighed, not that he had any need to sigh, who gave whatsoever he asked, but that he was fain to teach us to look up and sigh toward him whose throne is in heaven, confessing our need that our ears should be opened by the gift of the Holy Spirit, and our tongue loosed by the spittle of our Savior's mouth, that is, by knowledge of his divine word, before we can use it to preach to others. And he said unto him, If fatha, that is, be opened. And straightway his ears were opened, and the string of his tongue was loosed. Herein we must remark the command, be opened was addressed to the deaf ears but the tongue also was immediately loosed. Just so, when the ears of a man's heart have been opened to learn the obedience of faith, the string of his tongue also is thereupon loosed, that he may exhort others to do the good things which himself doth. It is well added, and he spake plain. He only doth well preach obedience to others who hath first learned himself to obey. O Ramus! Almighty and everlasting God, who art always more ready to hear than we to pray, and art wont to give more than either we desire or deserve, pour down upon us the abundance of thy mercy, forgiving us those things whereof our conscience is afraid, and giving us those good things which we are not worthy to ask. Through our Lord Jesus Christ thy Son, who liveth and reigneth with thee, in the unity of the Holy Ghost, one God world without end. Amen. Benedicat vos omnipotens Deus, Potter, et Filius, et Spiritus Sanctus. Amen.